Now 18, we're still doing geometry, measuring things, okay? But actually what we're talking about this time is polygons. Who in the world knows what a polygon is? Oh, poly means many. Many sides. Many sides, okay? Any shape that forms um, is a polygon, basically. Um, straight lines that connect and form something, Triangles, basically. Okay? Squares, yes. So a triangle is a type of polygon. A quadrilateral type of polygon. All right. Let's review the names of polygons that we're used to. We know that if it has three angles, triangle, that it's called a triangle. We know if it has four angles, it's triangle. called a rectangle, but the more um, polygon name is quadrilateral. Okay? Who knows what a five-sided is? Pentagon. Superman? Pentagon. Is that what it's called? Pentagon. Yes. Five-sided shape is called a pentagon. Or a diamond. Okay? Um, hexagon is the six-sided shape. Okay? That's usually what you see. Heptagon. I'm trying to think what that will look like. We don't typically see that one. What do we see a lot of? The stop sign. And it has an octagon. What else is that? an octagon? That's an octagon. It has eight sides. Okay? Um, anybody know what a nine sided object is called? Nonagon. Nonagon. <laughs> Almost like nine-a-gon, but it's not a gon Anybody know what a ten-sided shape is called? Kind of goes along oh, okay. with what ten years is. Decagon. Ten years is a decade. decade, so it's called a decagon. Okay, eleven <laughs> on decagon. Okay, and twelve do decagon. And anything after that, if it has more than twelve signs sides, you would say 13, gone. <laughs> 14, gone. That's what you would say, okay? Wouldn't that be easier if we could just name all our shapes? Three, gone. Four, gone. Five, gone. Yeah. Six, gone. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's not that way. So, does everybody feel like they got it? So, how many ver vertexes or vertices does this one have? the same amount of sides that it has, actually. That's the way it works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight sides, eight vertexes. Very good. Now, there are two types to every, like, polygon. So for what I mean by that, that there is a regular triangle, and then there is a um, irregular triangle. Okay, so I want you to tell me which one is regular and which one is irregular. Um, well, regular is the one on the left and irregular is the one on the left. Yes, okay, here's what I want you to know. Regular in math means equal. Okay, regular in math means that all sides are equal. Okay? This one is a triangle, but all the sides are not equal, so it's irregular, okay? Regular, irregular. All right, so even if I have an eight-sided shape, here's what my eight-sided shape could actually be. That's an eight-sided shape, right? It makes no shape. <laughs> I mean, I guess it does, um, but no shape that we know. Um, but this is still an octagon, okay? It's an arrow. No, it's a dog. <laughs> okay, or a dog. <laughs> no, it looks like a boot. Or a boot. Okay. I don't see those. What? All right. So anyway, it doesn't really matter. But what I want you to see is that, was that one regular? No. No. It was irregular. Okay, this was close to regular as I could make it. Okay, that's a regular octagon. The one I had here was an irregular octagon. Okay. Now, no, 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 no. cool fact. Cool fact. Wait just a moment. Tell me after class. All right. Oh, it was about this though. Okay, well, you should tell me. Um, all right. There are two words similar, write this down, and congruent. They kind of mean the same thing, yet they are also very distinct and different. Okay.
Who you? We have four quadrilaterals up here, and I want to know which ones are similar and which ones are congruent. One, two, three, or four. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> A little bit better. Okay. Which one of these, to the best of my ability, show a similar? Let's do congruent first. Which of these, to my best ability, make a congruent? Which ones are two congruent shapes? Um, I guess one and two. No. I'm sorry, I meant one and three. One and three. Okay. To the best of my ability. I made, I tried to make one and three identical. Okay? Now, those are congruent. They are exactly the same shape, exactly the same sides, or the, or the same size. Um, and they measure their, their, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Okay? So exactly the same means congruent. Okay. But which one of these are similar? Yes. One, two, and three. One and two, or two and three. Okay. Four is not anywhere in the picture. It is totally different. Okay. What makes two and three similar? The same shape. It's the same shape, but not the same size. Okay. These sides are smaller, and this one is bigger. Okay. Does anybody feel like they understand? All right. Draw two triangles on your paper, one like this and one like this, okay? And then label it as I do. Okay. All right, we're gonna talk about the word Correspond, correspond. Which angles correspond with the other? And which lines correspond with the other? Okay? What angle corresponds with angle A? Angle I'm going to give you, do you know? Angle B. B. No, but good try. I haven't actually taught this before, I'm sorry. Okay? So, does anybody remember it from last year? Yes, Gracie. Uh, angle, did she always say D? She said, she said B. D is the right one, okay? Yes. Angle D, can everybody see how those are the same? They just happen to be flipped. So everybody see that? So angle A corresponds with angle D. What does angle F correspond with? C. Angle C. Very good. What does angle B correspond with? E. Angle E. Very good. Y'all got it. Okay. Now let's talk about corresponding lines. What does line AC correspond with? DF. 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 Very good. It corresponds. How do we do it? Corresponds. I think you just write. Corresponds with DF. Very good. What about BA? Line BA corresponds with? ED. Very good. Okay. Line EF corresponds with BC. Everybody feel like they understand what corresponding means? Good. Okay. Now, sometimes they'll give you a, a three letters. Okay. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's hard to see. Okay. So, I have one shape. That looks like this. Then I have one shape that looks like this. Okay? Imagine them being the same size. I tried to do that. Something like that. Okay? This one's labeled X, Y, Z. This one's labeled A, B, C. Now, what I encourage you to do when they're asking you which corresponds with which, it's hard to see that right here. Can everybody see that? So what I would do is I would try to find my right angle, okay? Try to find an angle that you know is the same. ZXY 
is the same thing as BAC. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see this right angle? Yeah. Right here? This right angle? This right angle? Everybody see that? Everybody see how this makes an acute and this is an acute? Acute and acute. Okay, so you want to find the two right angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and bring it down here. Just like that. So what would be my right angle spot right here? A would be. Okay, if I went boom, what would be this spot? B. And this spot? C. C. Now can you easily tell which angle corresponds with what? Mm. Yes. So that's what I encourage you to do. So in this one it says, which angle in X, Y, Z corresponds to angle A in A, B, C? X does. Very good. Very good. Which side in this one corresponds to B, C? X. Y, Z. Right? B, C. Y, Z. They got it? All right. Good to go. That is lesson 18. How are we doing on time?